Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rattle Essence and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And today I am going to be showing you the coolest bottle that I have in my collection. I couldn't believe it as soon as I received it. I said, this is such a unique and innovative concept. And so this one is actually by the brand Judith Lieber and this one is called More Is More For Him. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of More Is More For Him by Judith Lieber, I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner, and of course, while you're at it, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. I also wanna mention that if you are interested in picking up this fragrance, which I think is 140 five dollars american if i'm not mistaken all of the information is going to be down below i'm going to leave a link in the description section so judith lieber was a hungarian american designer unfortunately she passed away a couple of years ago she was 97 years old and she is responsible for many incredible creations and i'm also going to leave a link down below to where you can learn a little bit more about her and there is a men's counterpart and a woman's counterpart to this fragrance. So this one is called More Is More and the company really means it. This is the coolest bottle that I have in my collection. I know oftentimes I talk about the lavish and opulent nature of a lot of the presentations and how luxurious they come off, but this one is such an innovative concept. I'm so excited to tell you about it because this one is actually three different sprays in one. So this is a bottle that was inspired by the Chrysler building and if you turn them off, if you spray it, if you push on this black Swarovski crystal here, it doesn't spray anything, but you can actually turn on each one of these and spray it individually, or you can turn all three of them on and you can spray all of them at the same time. One of them is leathery, one of them is spicy, one of them is marine. It is such a cool concept. So that's why I actually have four test strips here because I'm gonna be telling you about each individual a bottle, if you will. And then I'm also gonna tell you what it smells like when you spray all of them at the same time. There's actually seven different combinations that you can make with this fragrance, but in any case, I am really impressed. I'm really wowed. I can't wait to tell you more about it. Let's start things off with the presentation. So I just wanna start things off by saying this is the coolest bottle and the coolest presentation that I have in my collection. You have the box here and the top of the box rests in there at an angle. And this is the uh, more is more for him. The top is a heptagon, and so it's seven sides. You also have the name of the fragrance here at the top. And as it opens up, there is a key on the inside. You can see the bottle has a very unique shape to it. And there's a perfect silhouette for the base here on this little uh, pedestal. And then it also comes with a key. Now I'm gonna tell you what this key is for, so I'm going to leave it out. And also on the inside, you will find this um, little booklet or little pamphlet, which I actually removed because I wanted to check it out and see what it was all about. Um, but this one actually tells you how to use the fragrance. Now, what does that mean? Okay, so the back also shows you how to use the fragrance. And there are actually three fragrances in one. Now this is also vegan, it's eco-friendly, and it has three different accords with seven different possibilities. The fragrance also came with this really nice card, and then on the back of the card, it shows you how to mix and match and how to use it. But of course, let me show you myself. So as you can see, the atomizer is right here in the front, and you may have noticed that it's actually three different atomizers. So you can actually pick and choose which fragrance you want to spray. Now there is a really big Swarovski crystal at the top here, but you're also going to find smaller Swarovski crystals on the side of each one of these sprays that you can activate by swiping to the right. So this one is the first accord, which is the spicy accord. This one is the second accord, which is the marine accord, and this one is the third accord, which is the leather accord. So if you actually spray it with all of these turned on, it's going to spray all three at once. 
Let's say you wanna do things a little bit more casually. You turn off the other two, you keep the marine one on. And now you just smell very bright, fresh, citrusy, marine, oceanic. And on the bottom here, if you're interested in replacing any one of these, you can actually go ahead, use the key, put it in there and turn it. And that allows you to remove each one of these individual bottles and there are three in total. This is the coolest presentation that I have ever seen. I'm definitely excited to use the layering combinations that are being suggested and to sort of discover what my favorite is. Let's go ahead and talk about the smell. So like I mentioned, this fragrance has this really cool design built into it where you can spray all of them at the same time, the spicy, the leathery, and the marine. Of course, it gives you all of the information on how to do it. It gives you the note breakdown. It even comes with this really, really cool card. And then on the reverse, it tells you how to use the fragrance. And then on the inside, it comes with the key that you can use. But I actually sprayed them individually. And I am going to use a little bit of a cheat sheet because I'm technically reviewing like three or four different fragrances here, right? So I'm going to give you the note breakdown for the first one. Let me see if I can find it in English because this actually has, couldn't believe it, has 13 different languages on here in this entire thing. So um, this one has, and we're going to start with the spice one, uh, which is the one that is represented by a single Swarovski crystal. And this one has saffron, lemon, ginger, lavender, vetiver, and amber. And that's this one right here. Oh, it's still a smooth, spicy fragrance. If you think it's going to be too aggressive or domineering, you're not gonna get that. I feel like the lemon is really cleaning things up a little bit in the opening. And the lavender is really adding this really classy texture to the fragrance. I definitely pick up on the saffron. And in terms of the amber that's in here, I'm not really getting anything too sweet from this. And so it's not an amber that is um, reliant on the use of a lot of vanilla or even labdanum. Perhaps there's benzoin, there's something warm about it, but it's still very refreshing for a spicy scent. And so I'm definitely getting the spices in here, but it's definitely a little bit on the clean and refreshing side as well. And so I really do enjoy the first one. This is one that would be worn really comfortably for like a professional scenario. If you wanna wear something that has a little bit of an edge to it, I think the Marine is probably going to be a little bit more casual, but I think this one has this element of formality about it on account of the spiciness. And so I get the saffron in here and it doesn't smell too leathery as saffron sometimes could. And of course there is a separate one in here that is supposed to smell like leather. And so I'm gonna be talking about that in just a second. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one which is represented by two Swarovski crystals. And this one is Marine. And so before I smell it on camera here, the note breakdown as provided by the brand is Marine Accord, Black Pepper Oil, Apple, White Cedarwood, patchouli oil and amber. So there is a little bit of an overlap. They both have amber and um, no citrus in this one, but let's see. Oh yeah, this one definitely smells very clean, pure, oceanic, without smelling salty. And this one just smells very casual, very easy to get along with. This smells like the type of fragrance that would land you a bunch of compliments. And you know what's interesting too, is that I know these can be sprayed in tandem, um, but at the same time, each one has its own complexity. So they're not overly simple or linear or singular sense. Each one has its own complexity. So it's really interesting how, you know, they are encouraging that you mix and match just to sort of create your own vibe uh, from it, despite the complexity that each one of these individual uh, three scents does bear. And so, oh, this one has a freshness to it, but it also has a little bit of that peppery quality in the opening. And so I smelled it first and then I read the note breakdown and it clicked. It made a lot of sense because you do get the black pepper here too. Oh, really nice, very appealing. Uh, I can see this being the type of fragrance that my wife would really, really love. Uh, the marine one is just very relaxing. Um, kind of reminds you of being on vacation. And this is definitely the type of fragrance that I would wear when the weather is a little bit hotter. And I think the spicy one you can pull off all year round. Let's find out a little bit more about the leather one. So the leather one also has pepper. It has lemon oil in the top. So it says here from 
the first second of application up until the second hour, that's what you're gonna smell. From hours two to four, you're gonna smell leather and lavender. So again, a little bit of an overlap there with the lavender. And then in the deep base from the fourth hour to the 12th hour, you're gonna smell uh, patchouli oil and cashmere wood. And so let's smell the leather one and I'll tell you what I get. Oh, this is interesting. So it's very peppery. I definitely get the leather from it too. The lavender is in there, but it's very mild. And I'm not getting a whole lot of the citrus from this. Now I did actually spray about 20 minutes ago. So perhaps it has died down considerably, but the leather comes across right away. And it's not one of these demanding and aggressive leather notes. Same thing that I said about the spice. It's not too aggressive of a spice. It's not too aggressive of a leather. It just smells very smooth, very regal, very muted, um, but it's still there. When you smell it, you're like, Oh yeah, that's leather that I'm smelling. But what I also enjoy is that I'm, I'm guessing all three of these were composed by the same perfumer. And so the overall effect that it achieves is one of uniformity because I'm guessing that similar ingredients are being used in each one, albeit spotlighting or amplifying different ingredients in each blend. And so even though some have pepper, some don't, some have lemons, some don't, some have patchouli, some don't, I feel like the quality of the ingredients is the same all through. Now let's go ahead and smell all three at once. <laughs> so this is going to be spicy marine and leathery with patchouli and vetiver and black pepper and lemon and all of these ingredients. Wow, this is awesome. So the blend that you're going to get from all three of these comes across smelling very complex to me. It opens up very fruity and citrusy. You have the apple and the lemon. There's a little bit of spice in here as well, but I feel like because a couple of the uh, fragrances feature pepper, but only one of them has a saffron, I get more of the pepper than I do the saffron. And it kind of adds to the oceanic feel of the fragrance. And then as it starts to dry down, you get a little bit of a woodsy appeal, which I'm guessing is coming from like this cedar wood vibe. I know it said white cedar in one of the fragrances. And I'm also picking up on an earthy nature in the base with a touch of leather as well. However, there's an overall smoothness to the fragrance. And if I can be perfectly honest with you, even though I sprayed all three on this one, I really feel as though the marine note is coming out the strongest. And maybe that's because in the opening, that's the one that really captivated my senses. Whereas the leather one, you can perceive the leather nuance in the base. For the saffron one, you can perceive the saffron in the base. But with the marine one, it opens up with that really bright citrus and the pepper and that oceanic accord. And so I really feel like as I sprayed this one about 20 minutes ago, it's really the marine one that is dominating, but you still pick up on nuances from the other fragrances, which I think is really, really cool. I got to hand it to the brand Judith Lieber. This is absolutely amazing. The product that they're offering here, the price that's associated with it, the presentation with the really cool design and the really cool functionality, the Swarovski crystals, the cards that come with it, the key that comes inside, this promotional card that tells you how to use the fragrance, it's all amazing. And so I am so happy to have this fragrance in my collection. And of course, it also has the notes written on the back here. I could have read it here, but their website just has so much detail on it as well. And so if you check it out, I know you're going to fall in love with it. I'm so happy to have this coolest bottle in my collection, hands down. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is such an enjoyable fragrance, and I'm talking about all three of these, the spicy, the marine, and the leather, but the combination of all three, and I haven't tried all seven combinations, but I just tried the one uh, combining all three and then each one individually, just to get to understand it a little bit better. Each one of them is really pleasant. The leather isn't too aggressive, the spicy, um, fragrance isn't too spicy and the marine fragrance doesn't smell generic. Uh, and so I, I love the fact that this is such a unique fragrance, giving you the possibility of switching things up. So depending on the occasion, depending on the season, depending on how you feel, I, I just think it's a really cool concept. And 
I'm surprised that hasn't been done before. And so I'm really happy that they were so innovative and that they came up with such a cool concept. And the overall smell is very appealing for all three of them. In terms of the longevity, you do get about eight hours on your skin, so it lasts a long time. If you spray it on clothing, you can expect 10 to 12 hours, which I always do. In terms of the versatility for this one, and the, oh, I'm sorry, let's do the projection first. The projection was great for the first two hours of application, and then it started to sit a little bit closer to the skin. And by the way, I am talking about when I wore this one, I used all three. And so it projected very nicely for the first two hours. It started to sit a little bit closer to the skin at that two hour mark, but it didn't sit, it didn't become a skin scent, I should say, until about the sixth or seventh hour of application. So the performance on this one is very, very good. Versatility. It all depends. If you wanna wear this in the hotter weather, you can definitely pull off the marine one, and you can even layer the marine with the leather if you wanna give yourself a few extra hours of longevity. If you wanna wear something in the winter time, do the leather and the spicy combination. I imagine that that would be a really cool combination. I'm actually really curious to try that one out. And if you just wanna do something that is all year round, you can do the combination of all three of them, but just be a little bit more conservative with the spray. I would probably do like three or four sprays because it does perform really, really well. And I think this one is perfectly unisex. All three of them are perfectly unisex. And I think this one can be worn formally if you do the spicy or the um, leather. I think this one can be worn casually if you do the marine. And I think it's a Swiss army knife if you do all three. And so you kind of know how I feel about that. In terms of the presentation, coolest bottle that I have in my collection, hands down. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you want a unique, novel, innovative fragrance and idea, niche quality, going for a designer price, and an amazing fragrance to have in your collection, I will definitely treasure this bottle and the creativity behind it. And I'm so happy to see that the legacy of Judith Lieber is being carried on through the more recent designs and releases from the brand. And so. I'm so happy to have this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. Of course, of course, while you're at it, excuse me, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell and also leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these three sounds the most appealing to you, the spicy, the leather, or the marine. Thanks again for watching. Links are gonna be down below to where you can purchase this fragrance as well. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.